going to say, that looked a little straighter off the bat. Yeah, that, that felt more stable too, you know, right off the bat. That club, I would say it's probably the best so far, for sure. Hey golfers, welcome to the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. Today we're going to be talking about iron golf shafts, specifically graphite versus steel. I got Danny, who is a master club fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka Store. Danny, thanks for joining today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Thomas. It's going to be a good test. So today we're going to be comparing steel and graphite golf shafts, and we're going to throw in the steel fiber golf shaft. The reason for that is Danny has explained to me that he's had some injuries in the past and he really wanted to test something a little bit easier than the golf shafts he's playing. So Danny, tell me your story. Sure. So I've been playing extra stiff, um, predominantly steel for a long time. Um, I've got some chronic back pain issues as well. I've got scoliosis. Um, so I'm only, I'm limited to about a dozen rounds per year just because of my back. Um, sometimes my fingers and my hands go numb while I'm playing. So I'd like to try something a little bit lighter, but I don't want to sacrifice too much control with that too. So I think this will be a great test today. Yeah, so the golf shaft you've been playing, you said an extra stiff steel golf shaft. We're talking right. in like the 130 gram range, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yep. so for today's test, we're actually gonna test still extra stiff golf shafts. We may throw in a heavier stiff shaft as well, but we're gonna test some lighter graphite extra stiff golf shafts, okay. the steel fiber golf shaft, and we also have the Recoil uh, 110 golf shaft as well. So it's gonna be an interesting test to get some feedback from you on sure. feel, but yeah. also pay attention to the numbers that we're seeing with these clubs too. Sure, what do you think we're gonna see shaft to shaft? What are you expecting to see? So Danny, we may expect um, some changes in launch profile and spin profile, but I'm really interested in the dispersion because mm -hmm. there's a reason why you're playing an extra stiff golf shaft is you've got some speed because you got some speed, we've got to make sure we can control that club face. Okay. So I'll be paying attention to dispersion a lot and see if we are sacrificing any okay. or if we're actually hitting it even better. Okay, sounds good, let's get after it. So Danny, I've got you set up in the Cobra Kingforge Tech 7 iron. That's the iron that you're playing, correct? Correct, yeah. And then we have the True Temper X100 golf shaft. This is a golf shaft that resembles kind of something that you're playing right now with your game, about right. 130 grams in weight, right. fairly heavy, fairly stiff golf shaft. Correct. So I want to get some baseline numbers with what you're currently playing with. Okay. And then we're going to test these other lighter golf shafts out. Sure, let's get after it. Let's do it. You are a really good bull striker. <laughs> Those three shots were very straight. <laughs> so Danny, those were five really nice swings, especially those first four that were really, really straight. That really kind of impressed me. They were within five yards right or left of, of the center line. And that's usually what you maybe expect out of a heavier golf shaft. It's a little bit easier to hit straight. Right. Uh, it, it felt pretty similar to what I play now, so I'm comfortable with it. It's about the shot you know, that I expect to hit most often, kind of a little draw right to left. Yeah, and knowing that you've got some injuries and scoliosis in, in your back. How does it feel on, say, maybe when you're hitting the ball or maybe in general when you're playing outside when you don't quite catch it perfect? Do you notice the impact or the vibrations at all? Absolutely, absolutely. Especially if I don't get you know, some range time in before I play, those first few holes are pretty rough on it. But you know, I'm limited to about a dozen to 20 rounds per year. Um, you know, sometimes my hands go numb while, I pl while I'm playing too. For us golfers, we, we know we need our hands to play. So I know if, once I lose sensitivity, I've got some bogeys coming up for sure. Yeah, so we want to make sure we find you a golf shaft that you can, one, play more rounds, mm -hmm. but also be more comfortable on the golf course here as well, just Absolutely. to make it a little bit easier on you. So we've got an interesting test. So okay. we've got uh, three other golf shafts that we're going to be testing. But let's just kind of first talk about the numbers, what we're seeing with the X100. So your club speed around that 86 miles an hour. Now I know this is winter time, you're probably not at 100% to what you're maybe normally seeing outside. 
Um, but with your club speed hovering around about that, I would definitely interested in a little bit lighter golf shaft because I think you might get to something just a little bit more out of it. Not even mm -hmm. considering injuries or anything or body problems or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, you're very very efficient at ball striking. So you had one here you slightly miss hit. You notice that one's just a little bit shorter. But otherwise, very very efficient. No smash factor. Just a little bit over one four. Now we do know the King Forge Tech iron is a little bit stronger. Now this fitting head, it is the 29 and a half standard setting. Right. You mentioned to me that you normally bend your clubs just a little bit weaker to make up for that spin. Is that correct? Right, right. So I wasn't you know, surprised to see the spin a fraction on the low side, you know, because I play it two degrees weak to compensate for that. So when I was originally testing this club head, I saw the similar results there, which is why I went a little weak on the loft. Okay. And that should help maybe get the ball launched just a little bit higher for you there as right. well. But you're carrying the ball 180, height was about 107 feet in the air, so you're hitting, you're hitting it pretty efficient. That's a lot to do with the speed that you still generate right. to get the ball kind of up in the air. But let's test these other golf shafts out, and then maybe we'll test the range. So I'll first start off with the Fujikura Pro 95i. It actually weighs 97 and a half grams. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very low torque golf shaft. So even though it's lighter, mm -hmm. the torque is at 2.7, which in an iron shaft is, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, considering it's graphite, right. is uh, very low. <laughs> right, so. yeah, I'm excited, let's get after it. Let's test it. That was nice and straight there. A Little more spin. Yeah, which we kind of want, right? Yep, yeah. seven iron, yeah, you, you definitely fight lower spin, just like me, your, yeah. your attack angle is not that far down, you're more of a right. picker. Yep. Uh, so your spin loft is not gonna, ever going to be crazy low, which spin is important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and we also play the draw, which we both know that takes a little spin off it too. Yeah. Let's hit a few more. Okay. You know, I'm kind of surprised with how light it is. It does feel pretty stable. You know, for a graphite shaft, I was expecting a little bit of a lag or that club feeling behind me. It feels pretty stable after two swings. That's really interesting, especially when you've gone from the 130 gram golf right. shaft to 97.5. So it's right. over 30 grams lighter, but I'm glad you yeah. gave, gave that feedback in regards to stability. Yeah, yeah. That was smoke. That felt really good there. So that one was clearly a miss hit. Well, we know that was clearly a miss hit, but it didn't go crazy far offline. It was a little bit left. Um, like you dropped on spin, I think that might have been a little bit toey, dropped in spin, mm -hmm. dropped in height a little bit, but still is close to 100 feet in the air. Considering that was a miss hit, that was a good miss hit. Yeah, I'll take I it. I mean, I gotta ask you now too, because I know your, your hands, they, they kind of feel like you're gonna go numb. Right. Did, how did that feel at impact when you did miss it that one? Um, I could still definitely feel like I hit it off the toe, but as far as vibration, I really didn't feel any kind of aftershock like I experienced sometimes with steel. Okay. So noticeably better on the miss hit, for sure. That's that's really interesting. I went a little low, a little, little thin. Skinny, Same thing. Feel okay? Felt Not, okay. Yep. Yeah. You know, and I chose this club head too, a little bit wider in the sole, so it's a little bit more forgiving. With my back, I can't practice a whole lot either. So those miss hits, I wanted to still be pretty competitive. So I've been doing this job so far. So I'm gonna take that one uh, that you did uh, pull over there to the left. We know that was okay. clear, clearly a, a, a bad swing kind of out, but that's yeah. just gonna talk about the, the numbers and compare the differences with them all. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so if we look at your averages here, your club speed, pretty consistent. I mean, it, you picked up 0.2 miles an hour, it's nothing, nothing crazy. I right. might have expected a little bit more speed out of a lighter golf shaft. Me too, me too. But you did mention it did feel pretty stable, so the stability of the golf shaft may just have influenced a little bit on the, on the feel and the speed for you there. Right. Uh, ball speed efficiency just, just slightly higher, so it's kind of interesting there that you, you had that one in there you hit really, really solid. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why just a little bit, little bit on the higher side. Spin, I mean, probably nothing that you can say that it's going to spin way more or way less. Right. Usually I would say the club head causes more spin than the, yeah. the golf shaft will. Mm -hmm. We're still in extra stiff, it's just a little bit lighter. Yeah. Um, but if you look over in all the numbers here, you can see, yeah, I picked up carry distance by a yard and a half. Mm -hmm. 
height. You had that one that you had a little bit thin in there. Um, if we look at the height there, you had that one that you did catch a little bit low, a couple in there too, and you had right. one a little bit higher there too. So maybe a little bit more of a fluctuation in, in the height uh, with regards to consistency and, and landing angle a little bit. So notice how it says plus or minus eight versus plus or mi minus five. Right. A little bit larger left to, lar left to right. Mm -hmm. You had four good shots. At the end of the day, we want to get you on the golf course to be playing more golf. So Absolutely. I don't know. Could you notice, would you prefer to play that golf, Chef, or X100, do you think, if you were trying to play a lot of golf? Well, if I wanted to play a lot of golf, I'd definitely go this route. You know, it's interesting to see the results aren't too different. Um, so it, I think it'd be good for sure coming down the back nine where, you know, my back gets a little sore, all of a sudden shots start going left and right more often. I think this could you know, keep me playing better golf in those back nines and score a little bit better for sure. Yeah, and that's important to keep in mind because a lot of times you know, on the golf course, it could be four or five hours playing the round of golf. If you're right. walking, definitely can be a little more straining on, on the body there as well. So it may be better towards the end of your rounds. It may mm -hmm. perform better towards the in the rounds rather than right. just dragging on with that X100 that's going to weigh <laughs> 130 grams for every single swing. Those, right. those last few holes may get a little bit tiring. Yeah, and yeah. I think it would you know, widen out my season as well. You know, in the fall, the weather gets colder. Everybody knows you get a little bit stiffer then too. So I think I could potentially play that a little bit longer into the season too. Okay, so let's try a couple. So I went from one extreme to the other. So I went from, mm -hmm. uh, went from 130 grams to basically 97 and a half grams. Right. So over 100, uh, over 30 gram difference. Mm -hmm. You can notice it. Notice that this, the, the dispersion wasn't that bad. And the numbers were pretty accurate. So mm -hmm. I want to go a little bit more in between. So okay. we've got the recoil F4. So I don't have an extra stiff version of it, but it still does weigh a little bit heavier than this golf shaft. Okay. So this is, you know, another graphite shaft option. So since this isn't the extra stiff, we would probably expect the torque number to be a little bit higher here, right? Yeah, with the, with the F4 versus F5, uh, torque's going to go from 3.1 with the F4 mm -hmm. to like 2.9. So it's okay. going to be just a little bit, I guess, a little bit more torque, a little bit more feel okay. um, for, for, for impact, impact for you there. Um, okay. Now, it's pretty minimal. We we're talking 0.2, so it's not a crazy amount. And okay. the, the weight with the F4 is 109. The weight with the F5 is 110. So okay. it's not really that far off. Okay. First impression, I did kind of feel that, you know, a little bit softer in the tip there, you know, where we talked about that club being a little bit behind me before. Yep. Kind of felt it on the first one, just a little bit there. That's important to bring up because the most important thing is you want to make sure that the feel is good for the player. So it's important to get your feedback on feel with these golf shafts because I don't know what you're feeling. I'm just glad that right. you can give me that feedback. Right. And this yeah. is the first one that we went from extra stiff to stiff. That's the first time I felt that too. So. Okay. Just not feeling the control with this. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm noticing it was right, then it was left, then it was right again. And we right. can maybe bring up those, those first three shots that you hit with it here. So you can see the first one was, was here. Mm -hmm. Next one was here, next one was here. So it was definitely a little bit more sporadic. Right. And if you're not feeling it, and if, in a club fitting, if someone's not feeling it, I'm not going to say, hey, we have to hit five shots with every single golf shaft to right. really kind of test it. Right. Tell me you're not feeling it, let's skip over it. We don't even need to. Yep. And finally, we will hit the steel fiber 115. So this is going to probably be kind of more in the, in the middle. It's back mm -hmm. into extra stiff so you've already told me you didn't weren't kind of feeling the the lighter golf shaft right now your club speed is it's you know hovering around about 86 miles an hour okay. it's close to where you do make that transition between stiff and extra stiff so right. end of the day it comes down to being player dependent on that whether the player has a like smoother tempo okay. or, or a faster tempo um, I know you like playing the extra stiff mm -hmm. you, right off the bat we went we went to stiff and you didn't <laughs> right. like it, so right. I'm going to keep you an extra stiff. Sounds good to me. I was going to say, that looked a little straighter off the bat. Yeah, that, that felt more stable too, you know, right off the bat. That club, I felt like I had a little bit more control right off the bat with it again. Yeah, I just want to bring that up. So that's that blue dot that's kind of flashing right there. It's, uh, 
closest to the middle right there, right off the bat. So I know only one shot in, but that was, that was a good start with the uh, Steel Fiber 115. Right, yeah, it was a good first date. Very nice. So, I mean, that's two shots in a row you hit pretty straight. How does it feel, though? Uh, I would say it's probably the best so far, for sure. Um, you know, I like the weight kind of right in between. Um, it's definitely stable, and it really promotes like a softer feel, too. I, I know where the club is throughout the swing. I like this a lot. Well, I'm glad that you said you like it, because so far it's a good start. Mm -hmm. I want to see a couple more shots just to validate it. Okay. And then it's, uh, let's take a look at all the numbers comparing them all. I like it. So, you know, that was pretty, pretty obvious that that one was a miss. It was a little bit low. Tell me about that golf swing. Right. That, that's pretty common for me. I would say it's either that shot that happens, a little bit skinny, or it's going to go to the left. That's kind of, the, kind of the default with my back issues to kind of stand up and out of it a little bit. But I like to see that it's still pretty close to the other results as well. Yeah, I mean, it was clearly a miss hit. We'll notice that your height dropped dramatically. Right. Uh, we know the ball speed dropped a little bit there. So you got that a little bit thin. Like mm -hmm. Tony said, you can maybe stand, out, stand up out of the swing a little bit. But the thing that stands out to me is it was still straight. Right. So you're still getting away with it. Your carry only just kind of barely dropped just a little bit. Mm -hmm. That definitely stood out to me. That was a good miss hit. A clear miss hit, but a very, very good miss hit. Right. I, I like that miss hit better than the left and right misses that I was seeing earlier. At least it's straighter. Okay, so you've already told me that you like the feel of this golf shaft. You had that one miss hit in there that you got away with, which is very, very important there too. So that was the miss hit there. So you've just hit four that were the straightest pretty much out of all of them there too. Right. In a fitting, I'd say, hey, we're, we're good. This was, <laughs> this was an excellent result. This is the kind of feedback that I want from you because you're the one that's hitting the golf club. Right. If you like the feel of it and I'm seeing the numbers, Perfect. Absolutely. We don't, we don't need to hit any, anything else. Right. The steel fiber, it's really an ideal weight for those players that are transitioning from a heavy steel golf shaft to try and maybe consider something a little lighter. I think it's a great option for you. Yeah, it sounds like me, for sure. Well, because we like to look at numbers, mm -hmm. let's kind of take a look at the numbers and just kind of see what, if anything stands out to us with regards to um, these golf shafts. And if you like, since you're a fitter here too, you can kind of jump in and say anything how, that stands out to you there. Um, the thing for, for me is you get a pretty consistent golf swing. Um, your, your club speed, you know, you're hovering right around the 86 miles an hour every single time. So may have to bring you on for, for more testing if your body can hold up. You're a good, sure. good robotic tester here. Um, ball speed, you notice, you know, pretty, pretty similar overall there too. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried the fact that the ball speed was actually the lowest with that one. Right. You notice club speed was actually kind of a little bit lower. I'm more focused on this. Absolutely. End of the day, in, in a fitting, if your dispersion pattern is, is excellent, that's kind of what's more kind of important there too. And that stands out right off, right off the bat there too. Okay. Yeah, I did take out that one miss hit in there, but even still you can see how it was, <laughs> it, it was tight. And we know that one was clearly a miss hit because it had the height at 75 <laughs> feet in the air too. Right. Um, but otherwise, if you were going to take that one away, um, you can see it was 105 feet in the air. It was nice and consistent. Carry was 80, mm -hmm. well, carry was 180 yards good landing angle. I mean, yeah, it, was, it was pretty good. So I, I like to look at numbers, but I also mm -hmm. like to hear from the customer that I'm, that I'm fitting to on, on sure. feedback and, 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 and feel and everything like that. Right. It just sounds like it just felt the best to you. Yeah, it, it definitely did. You know, the, the middle weight, that 115, so still a big jump down from 130 grams where it was. Um, looking at the numbers, I'm shocked at how similar everything is. The spin rate, the ball speed, even the launch angle with different weights too, mm -hmm. it didn't change a whole lot. So the windows I'm used to seeing the ball flight start out at, I'm gonna get that with this too. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that's it's the loft on the golf club. The, uh, the, the head really does a lot of the work, the club right. head first. The golf, not saying the golf shaft doesn't matter, but it really complements the, the club head. Right. It really complements the, the player's swing tendencies essentially yeah. there. You can see your dynamic, dynamic loft up here, you can see Pretty much 23, 23.1, 23.1, 22.5, 23.7. So mm -hmm. it, that didn't change much. The way that you delivered the club coming through was, was excellent really across the board. Your club path was basically the same every single time. Mm -hmm. So that's why the numbers were all pretty, pretty accurate. You had the same club speed. 
it's just whatever feels better for you and whatever's given the best dispersion. When I, when I say this was definitely a winner. Absolutely, no doubt about it. So this was a really interesting test. I really appreciate Danny coming in and putting his swings on video for us today. Uh, it was really interesting because every golfer has different tendencies. Every golfer has different mobility issues, whether they have injuries in the past. It really does affect how you hit a golf club. In a second swing, we do make sure that we fit the right club head and the right golf shaft that is specific to that player. So come on into second swing and get fit like a pro.